And good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. <laughs> this is He Speaks with Green Rock. I definitely need a little more coffee this morning. Uh, I might just snooze once or twice this morning, man. I'm, mm, this allergy season is whooping my tail. Just mm, my throat, my eyes, everything. Just I'm not, this, I, I ain't put no ice on, so y'all seeing an unice face. So. <laughs> <coughs> Uh, we've been talking adultery, y'all. We're doing six days of adultery. We're on day two. Yesterday, we identified why adultery bad, and today, we're going to talk to men. The question I got in the group I posed, all men's dogs. All men dogs. Can men not commit adultery? Can they keep it in their pants? Can men not hit everything they see? Do men have to commit adultery? Oh, man, we're going to talk about it this morning, but y'all ain't got to listen to what I say. Come on, y'all, listen to what the words say. But before we do, by your head, let's pray. Lord, thank you. Lord, thank you for getting us up this morning. Lord, I don't feel like it, but Lord, you gave me the energy. You got me dressed. You got me here, and I thank you. May you bless everybody out there watching. Keep everybody going through the week. Keep everybody going through this recession. Bless those with businesses that are trying to get them off the ground and keep them afloat. Bless those going to work who just can't make me ends meet because prices are high. Lord, bless us. Bless us. Show us the way. Give us a path and get the bag. May it be more of you. May you fall free. May they, may they receive it. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, y'all. Come on, y'all. Let's eat. Uh, uh, we are we're talking to men today. And, uh, man, I don't want y'all to get your feelings hurt. <clears throat> but we're talking about the word. Don't, 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 don't get mad at me. We're talking about the word. I don't even know why you would get mad at me when I'm just presenting the word of God. You won't get mad at God. Take it up with God. Stop. I'm an outlet store. Go to that manufacturer. All right. Uh, give me, we're going to kick it. King James and New Living Testament, uh, really today. We're really going to be bumping both of them. Uh, so give me Luke 16 and start me off in the King James. Give me Luke 16. Off in King James. All right, we're gonna we're gonna need to work this morning. Thing. Okay, there we go. All right, that was another word. King James, uh, Luke sixteen, not Luke Skywalker. Not pop that boot. No, wrong Luke. Luke in the Bible. Well, Luke sixteen, <laughs> sixteen, eighteen. King James, church with me there. Say Amen. He said, Ooh, "Excuse me." I, I, I just got up, y'all. Whosoever putteth away his wife and marry another, commit adultery. And whosoever marry her that is put away from her husband, commit adultery. Uh, we went over this yesterday, y'all. Uh, we all need grace from this thing. Don't think just because you're not actively cheating on somebody, you're not committing adultery. Has the person you've been with been married before? Adultery. Uh, did you divorce your wife? Adultery. Man, I just don't know too many grown folks. I'm talking about grown folk over 40, over 40 who ain't committed adultery. We all committing adultery, y'all. We all need grace. You ain't got to be an active cheater. You ain't got to be lying to somebody in an active relationship. You done slept with a married man, not married maybe to his wife at the time, but a divorced man, a divorced woman. You are divorced yourself. Therefore, anybody sleep with you is committing adultery. We all need grace in this thing. That's all I'm trying to tell you. Uh, come on, let's 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 keep it let's keep it funky this morning. Give me New Living Testament. Same same thing. Give me sixteen Luke sixteen and eighteen. New Living Testament, church whipping, I say amen. He said, for example, a man who divorces his wife and marries someone else commits adultery. And anyone who marries a woman divorced from her husband commits adultery. Those are just bars, y'all. Those are just bars this morning. God just telling you straight up, hey, we all need grace. This isn't red. This is what Jesus said. We all need grace, y'all. Are all men dogs? No, we all dogs. The culture to switch so much. I believe the women is the pit bulls. The, the, the men is chihuahuas. They sitting on the porch. The women out in the yard, they outside. <laughs> the women are outside. They are pit bulls out here. Huh? The, the, the men sitting on the porch are little chihuahuas. Just 
the ghetto Taco Bell looking little dogs. Just I'm talking about they sitting on the board. You women out here living their best life. I'm telling you now, we all dogs. Look, come on, let's get to the next one. Proverbs, Proverbs. Give me Proverbs six twenty uh, six and twenty twenty nine through twenty six. Go back to the uh, we flipping today. We flipping King James New Living Testament. Give me King James and give me uh Proverbs six twenty nine. I'm sorry, 6 to 26, we're going through 29. 6, 26, we're going through 29. I didn't flip my Bibles. That's just really confusing. I need to figure out how to flip them Bibles back up the right way because I keep going down for up and up for down. Uh, Proverbs, King James, y'all. Proverbs 6, 26, we're going through 29. Church with me now. Say it, man. He say, for by means of a whorish woman, a man is brought to a piece of bread, and the adulterers will hunt for... The precious life. Can a man take fire in his bosom and his clothes not be burned? Can one go upon hot coals on his feet and not be burned? So have that go up in his neighbor's wife. Whosoever touches her, sm her shall not be innocent. Them bars right there. Y'all, I'm, I'm finna go over here. Give me the New Living Testament, man. Boy, King James sometimes can use you in that old real poetic uh, uh, Shakespeare. You know, Shakespeare translated most of the Bible. That old poetic Shakespeare stuff, sometimes you can lose the translation. Give me give me 626 again, and I want New Living Testament. I want to break it down uh, like an old dance right here for y'all in plain language. With 626, but look, it's highlighted right there. Uh, 626, New Living Testament, uh, Proverbs 6, 26. Church women, I say amen. He say, for a prostitute will bring you to poverty, but sleeping with another man's wife will cost you your life. Can a man scoop a flame in his lap and not have his clothes catch on fire? Can he walk on hot coals and not blister his feet? So is it the man who sleeps with another man's wife, he who embraces her will not go unpunished. Them is bars for your salvation right there, y'all. I'm telling you right now, God has just told you, oh, that man, touch somebody else's stuff. Touch somebody else's stuff if you want to. Come on, let's go back to the top on this thing. Let's not miss it. Let's not miss it. Let's not get emotional. Let's slow down and just read. The, let's not get emotional and throw the ball everywhere. We're going to read this thing, right? Amen. Come on. Uh, 26, he said, for a prostitute will bring you to poverty, but sleeping with another man's wife. Boy, did you hear what the, what the, what the word of the Lord said earlier this morning? The word of the Lord said it is better to go buy that thing than to get somebody else's. Lord Jesus, hold on. I said, the word of the Lord just said it is better for you. The prostitute, gonna, it, she going to hit you in the pockets. She going to hit you in the bag. She going to get you for the change. She going to do something strange. But I'm telling you that strange woman who belonged to somebody else, good Lord Jesus, she going to cost you your life. She going to snatch your soul. She going to take you to hell, my G. Boy, ain't that something? The word of God says it's better to pay for it than to go get somebody else's. Oh, my Jesus, somebody, who? Oh my Jesus, somebody, I'm just, boy, I'm just having some feelings this morning, ain't it? Oh, he said it's better to go pay for it than to get somebody else's. At least you just losing change, you sitting against the body. But boy, when you touch something that ain't yours, when you touch something that's somebody else's, oh, now you just, you all up in God's thing. I keep telling y'all, God committed, God made marriage. Y'all, if you violate a marriage, you're not violating a person. You violate, you are. But you are violating God first because God made marriage. You go before God. God made this thing for man and woman. And when you violate it, you violate God. When you cheat in a marriage, you are cheating on God in the worst way. You are cheating on God. You just let God when you cheat. That's all it is. It ain't, oh, he can't keep me paying. He like big booties and my booty flat. I, just, I be trying to do squats and he just don't even look at it. Y'all remember when uh, on uh, 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 on, on uh, how, 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 how to lose your marriage or whatever the Tyler Perry movie is when oh uh, those evil dude Michael when uh, uh, uh who was it uh, uh, uh the singer Thou on uh, oh boy, I can't remember her name right now she put on the outfit she she big girl you know she put on the big girl and she put on the outfit he laughed he what you trying to do <laughs> you, you trying to be sexy boy I'm telling you right now <laughs> I'm telling you right now hey. Men, we got to get that under control. <laughs> you can't be putting your wife down, then I hear these screams. You know what I'm saying? The house is supposed to be for you. 
that's that's ordained. That's that ordained thing. That that thing right there is good. That good. That good 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 stuff right there. You out there in the street getting this 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 scallagory scallaway scatterbox out here <laughs> just messing up your own soul, bro. Bro, this thing was invented by God. We playing with it like it's not, man. We playing with it like it's not. Boy, I feel like a lot of stuff. I ain't working with this moment. Uh, hey, we playing with it like it's not. For real, y'all. We playing with it like it's not. But we didn't make this thing. We did not make this thing up, man. And I ain't quoting Prime this morning. <laughs> we didn't make this thing. But we show trying to break this thing. <laughs> uh, and check this one out. Boy, 27 get deep on it. He said, can a man scoop a flame into his lap? And not have his clothes catch on fire. Wait, I need this one to go deep. We're gonna take it 1960 deep on this one. He said, "Can a man scoop a flame in his lap?" Boy, you burning. You sp <laughs> you spiritually burning out here, hitting folks' wife. You spent you got flame in your lap. I'm talking about it got that fire, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Got flame in your lap. Is it you ain't gonna? Can you not get burned? <laughs> Be bad if you really got 1960 burned out here. I'm talking microwaves. I'm saying you <laughs> cannot, you can't. The, the flames in your lap, it, the, this can't, you can't get it off you. It's a spiritual thing, y'all. You go take a shower and wash all that old uh, 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 bath and body works. Some of y'all got that old, uh, uh, that old uh, Victoria's Secret lotion on. It be smelling good, don't it? White smelling a mile away. Come home smelling like hotel soap. Left the house smelling like a uh, uh, nineteen ninety four your car and work and came came home smelling like hotel soap. Just <laughs> hotel smoke soap smell different. It ain't like the stuff you buy at H E B. I'm just saying. <laughs> Come on, smelling like that cheap soap. Uh, skin all white. You forgot lotion. <laughs> Come on, y'all. He said twenty eight. Can he walk on hot coals and not bless his feet? Does somebody know somebody who can walk on hot coals? Oh man, boy, some people out there with some country feet. They can walk on rocks. They can walk on cobblestones. They might can walk on the street, but I bet you they won't walk on no hot coals and not blister them feet. Oh, even the people who walk on hot coals and do all that old stuff, they still get blisters. They just don't feel it. I'm gonna say it for some people who think they can sleep with a married woman and then it's all good because that's his wife. I said <laughs> they think they can walk on hot coals and they do, but it still blisters their feet. I'm saying it's a spiritual thing, y'all. It's a spiritual thing. Don't think you can wash this off. You can't. You can't. You got to pray this off. Come on. You got to wash it in the blood. Amen. Uh, and uh, let's, finish, let's finish this one up right here. He said, so is a man who sleeps with another man's wife. He who embraces her will not go unpunished. Y'all, hit somebody else's wife. Go ahead, hit her, knock her down, send her home. Uh huh. What 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 what? Pimp C said, rest in peace. I left it wet for you, fool. Leave it wet for him. Uh huh. Leave it. You, you will not go unpunished. God said, okay. He left it wet for him. You saw that Moses. He left it wet. And God don't even keep score. But just know he might have erased that name. I'm just saying this is a sin against the body, y'all. This is something that God really takes heed to. This is the thing he invented. And you out here leaving it wet for mm -hmm. well, Come on. Give me the next one. <laughs> give me, let's finish this meal, y'all. This is gonna be short and sweet, but we we, we really gonna we're gonna talk about this all week. Give me Ecclesiastes. Give me Ecclesiastes 7 and give me 26 to 29. We're back in the King James now. Give me King James. Give me King James. I, I really, this one here really got me. I was, I, I didn't even have this one. I think I extended it this morning when I woke up. Uh, and uh, I, it really got me because it's something that we think is a sign of the times, but the word tells us different. See, if we read this word, we realize it feel like we in our last days, but it felt like they was in their last days too. Thousands of years ago. I think we really need to get it through our head that it always feels like the last time because man is wicked. We out here making it last times. The earth ain't dying, we killing it. <laughs> the earth not dying, we killing it. So it feel like the last days. God ain't, 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 ain't left us. God ain't never left us. We separated from him. We divided from them. It ain't the United States. It's the divided states now. It's just what it is now. 
We are so divided from everything that we claim that we don't even realize it. But we connected to these things, ain't we? We connected to these things, ain't we? Well, we in these things like this right now, ain't we? Huh? For the wrong reasons most of the time. We won't even use the phone for good. All the knowledge and Google, people still out here stupid. They, 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 don't, they don't let an algorithm tell them stuff rather than just man, go to the library and get off your phone and just go to a regular computer. Maybe use a different search engine. Just just something different so that you can get information because this information and misinformation got y'all out here thinking side chicks and side dudes is all good and it's not. Come on, y'all. Please ask these seven, what I said, 26, uh, 7, 26 through 29. We're in the King James. Church with me. Hold on. What I said? What I'm just thinking about verse. Please ask these. I just want them on our Please ask these. Uh, give me Ecclesiastes, sorry about that one. Mm, Ecclesiastes 7, 26. We're going through 29. We're in the King James Church with me. Say amen. And I find more bitter than death the woman, whose heart is snares and nets. Her hands are as bands. Whoso pleased of God shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. Behold, this I have found, say of the preacher, counting one by one to find out the account, which yet my soul seeketh, but I find not one man among a thousand have I found, but a woman among all those have I not found. Lo, this only have I found, that God have made men upright, but they have sought out many inventions. Y'all, them is boys. Let's go to New Living Testament because some people finna get their feelings hurt this morning. I don't know if y'all heard what the word said. Give me Ecclesiastes 7, 26 to 29 again. Lord Jesus, please let them just listen. Don't hurt their feelings this morning. Come on, it says, <laughs> church with me now, say amen. I discovered that sed seductive women is a trap more bitter than death. Her passion is a snap. Her soft hands are chains. Those who are pleasing to God will escape her, but sinners, they will be caught in her snap. This is my conclusion, says the teacher. I discovered this after looking at a matter from every possible angle. <laughs> Though I have searched repeatedly, I have not found what I was looking for. Only one man out of a thousand men is virtuous. But not only one woman. <laughs> but I did find this. God created people virtuous, but they have each turned to follow their own downward path. Them is bars this morning, y'all. Man, let's take it to the top. Boy, ooh. This, uh, uh, this one here hit me so hard. I said, wait, 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 wait. What did the Lord say? The Lord is, uh, man, he is, hey, God is straight to the point. He don't sugarcoat this thing. He said right here, I have discovered that these seductive women, you know what a seductive woman is? A stripper. These seductive women is a trap more bitter than death. Strip club, y'all. Seductive women, ain't they seductive? Why they be moving and grooving and shaking and jiggling and doing all that stuff and stuff is clapping and bouncing and popping and, huh? Seductive, ain't it? Boy, look good, don't it? God says more bitter. Huh? <laughs> it's more bitter than death. The strip club, y'all. The seductive woman. The one who can pop it, shake it, twerk it. Uh, pop it, do that, do that. All that, boy, I'm telling you. Seductive. Instagram, boy, they, I can't even, I don't even like Instagram. You can't just, Instagram, it's just too much. I don't even ask, boy, I'm getting old. If I didn't ask for your booty, please keep your booty in this spot. Keep your everything where it's supposed to be covered, please. I'm old now. <laughs> I don't want to see it. <laughs> Put that thing away. Put that stuff up. Put it up. <laughs> Cut it up right now. Don't nobody want to see that. We in here trying to eat breakfast. Around here, got Denny's Grand Slams around here. You got the tie ties and everything. Put that stuff up. <laughs> Put that stuff up. Nobody want to see that. Her passion is a snail. Snail, y'all. Snail. I ain't talking about a snail drum. I'm talking about a trap. I'm talking about a trap, y'all. Hey, hood people. What, the trap. Yeah, her box is the trap. Boy, oh, hold on. They say her hands is soft as chains. You ever, you ever heard, felt some soft chains? 
What kind of soft chains, y'all? Soft chains. Think about this. Soft. This is hands is soft as ch chains. Ain't soft. I ain't never put a soft chain. You, you ever had to tow your car? You weren't looking for the softest chain, was you? <laughs> soft chains. That means these suckers feel good, but you can't get away. Oh man, Jesus, come on. Oh yeah, everybody hurts the feelings this morning. Uh, if you stripping, hold on, we're gonna pray for you, stripper. I I mean hurt you stripping feeling this morning. I'm just telling you, God said you ain't gotta use that part of your body. He said you is part of the body, huh? And he's the head. Amen. Come on. Those who are pleasing to God will escape her, but sinners will be caught in that snap. See, if you feel with God, you don't even want to see that, bro. Like, you really don't, bro. You really, really don't. Like, I remember a time when superfluous booty was okay. Like, oh, look what they doing in here. God, dog, they in there popping, man. Look what they doing. Oh, man, look at them. Hey, man, somebody give me some money. So look what they doing in here. Y'all remember, you used to break out, like, late 90s, early 2000s, before stripping really, really became mainstream. You can go to the regular club or the bar, and it would just kind of pop off. Let's say you know it's a girl in the corner with like five dudes around and she she doing stuff ain't got no business doing a regular club. Yeah, just superfluous booty was just out there in the late 90s and early 2000s. It was superfluous booty everywhere. It was just, you know, freak me. Kappa. Come on now. Y'all ain't never been to Kappa? Come on now. Well, I'm right here in Wicked City Dickinson. Come on now. You ain't been to a Kappa? You live in Texas, you don't know what a Capitol Beach party is. You ain't even have to go. All you have to be is, is close to Galveston County and mess around and stop at a gas station and you'll be pumping gas and notice there's a little more black people than normal. Did you see that, Betty? It is a lot of black. What is going on? Well, check the calendar. What night? It's that beach party, isn't it? I think we're going to go stay at the condo up in the city this weekend. Yeah, that's what we had to be like. Man, what the? Oh, you should be riding down 45 and realize it's a 20 minute drive, but I've been sitting here for two hours. It's girls jumping out the trunk, but naked. Why they come out? What were they doing in the trunk? It was superfluous booty everywhere. We didn't mind it when we was young. Oh, man, we older now. Full of limo God. Lord, a lot more him, less of me. I don't want to see your booty. Keep cover up, girl. Nobody want to see all that. I done got old. Put some clothes on. <laughs> Plus, and see, when you get old, I don't know if it's just me, but it is better to see it covered up and all, you know, sophisticated with it. Just go get it, get it dolled up and, oh, man, look at the dress. Wear the dress. Don't be wearing nothing. Wear a dress. Y'all out here wearing dental floss and, and pasties. Come on, women. All right, we see you fine. We see the thing poking. Can you please cover it up? Please. Just oh, cover it up, please. <laughs> but... We done got older. All that superfluous booty just ain't fun no more. It just ain't fun no more. Yeah, it's, it's not attractive. It just ain't cute. It ain't what's popping. It just ain't. You just, I see somebody over 40 still. Girl, you don't get your hands off your knees. You need to put your knees to the floor. Get your hands off your knees. You better not put your hands on your knees. You better not grab your ankles in public. Girl, what is you doing out here? <laughs> Y'all need to quit. Too old for this mess, man. Nobody want that superfluous booty out here. Stay away from the seductive women, man. They gonna get you, like the words say, bitter, 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 bitter. They might not be bitter right now. Them hands soft as chains, but after you can't get away from them, the chains gonna turn hard. And say, <coughs> you're gonna be caught in that snap. But check this out with the words here. The words say, this is my conclusion. This is my conclusion, said the teacher. The other one said the preacher. The teacher and the preacher. Hold on, they both said, I discovered after looking at this matter from every possible angle. They said they looked at this from every possible angle. Have you looked at adultery from every possible angle, y'all? Oh, I have searched repeatedly, man. They said search repeatedly. This sounds like right now, don't y'all say I have not found what I'm looking for. Women, you've been searching repeatedly? Men, have you been searching repeatedly? He said, only one out of a thousand men is virtuous. Y'all, them numbers hurt, don't it? <laughs> y'all, y'all tell me, it ain't no good men no more. It sound like wasn't no good men back then. <laughs> it ain't never been no good men. It don't sound like it. This is thousands of years ago, y'all. It is 0.001%. He said, one out of a thousand. Ain't that 
point zero. I, my math might be off, but I guess point zero one percent or something. Point wait, point zero one. All right, but it is a small percentage of men that are virtuous. Women, men did not just get bad; they've been bad. Y'all gonna have to deal with it. men been like this. We haven't changed since the beginning of time. Look like it. It said one out of a thousand. I hate to ask y'all women, you ain't got to sleep with them all. But if you ain't talked to a thousand men, that's why you ain't met no good man. It's a numbers game, baby. The Bible said one out of a thousand. You lucky if you get one. Man, I seen some people, hey, they didn't have two great loves in their life. Man died and they got another. One in a thousand. Y'all, it's a numbers game out here. And then, wait, 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 hold up, though. <laughs> he said he found one man in a thousand. One man, I'm so sorry, that you finished baby boy. Oh, sorry, but what, 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 what he said. But even at that thousand, he didn't find one woman. He said, but not one woman. I found one man out of a thousand, but out of a thousand women, Goose egg. <laughs> the word harsh, ain't it? <laughs> oh, y'all still there? Y'all still there? Y'all still there? I ain't trying to hurt your feelings. Uh, the word is saying it's zero out of a thousand. I I'm going to say it one more time for the people in back. You keep saying, ain't no good men. He said, <laughs> he searched repeatedly. And he looked at this thing from every angle. This is the word of God. Searched repeatedly and looked at this thing from every angle. <laughs> And I found one out of a thousand men is virtuous. But out of that thousand women, zero. So I'm going to ask y'all a question. Are all men dogs or all us dogs? Because the Bible say all men are dogs, but it say women are the pit bull and the men is the chihuahua chip. Huh? Ah, uh, boy, we just starting to realize it. We starting to catch up. These phones starting to tell a little more. Oh, man, I'm telling you, we used to think women was a little house mouse sitting in that quiet and just cooking and barefoot and pregnant. But we realizing, boy, whoop, they some monsters, ain't it? Uh, they some monsters, can't that be? Man, I'm telling you now, y'all better watch it out here. You better stay prayed up because zero out of a thousand. Zero out of a thousand. Bruh, your, number, your body count over a thousand. That's why you ain't found no good woman. The words say out of a thousand, you're going to find zero. One good man out of a thousand, zero women. Man, I'm telling you, them numbers right there. Them numbers sound like right now. Everybody dating, don't it? It sound like them type of numbers, right? You got to go through like a thousand people to get one good man. I don't even know how many women you got to go through to get a good woman because it said zero out of a thousand. Boy, I'm telling you, boy, you got a body count over a thousand. You need to go see somebody. You need some help. You need some help. Look at y'all. This finishes this work this moment. But I found this. God created people virtuous. See, God made us to be virtuous. But man goes down his own path. God made us to be right, y'all. We messing this thing up. As I said, he made it. We breaking it down here. I'm trying to tell y'all straight up. I ain't even like my camera this morning. Look, I'm telling y'all straight up. Uh, God made this thing, and we breaking it. This is his thing. He made sex and marriage. He made sex for the enjoyment of marriage and reproduction, and we out here using it for any old thing. Boy, we didn't turn. Look at here. We got terms sex worker. Sex worker. God made sex for enjoyment of a mad man and woman and reproduction, and we done turned that into a job that now you can get paid for. I get it, people. I get it. You're lonely. Uh, you just, just, you just want to feel like everybody else, but you don't really feel like a married person having sex with a partner. You think you do. We want that temporary fix. All we need is two AA batteries, a good video. Baby, we in now. Uh, homeless, all we need is some lotion, some tissues, a little truck, but log on and we in now, huh? Oh, it feel good at the time. But it's not the same. It's not the same. 
It's nowhere near the same. I don't let nobody fool you out here that marriage sex is the same as the sex you getting out in the street. Man, that's stuff out there. Boo boo. Hey, boo boo, baby. Hey, boo boo. Hey, boo boo boo. I'm sorry to tell you. Oh, it was boo boo. Oh, you thought you were doing the thing. Oh, it was boo boo. <laughs> nah. Mm. Look at K Dot say, huh? You and your baby mama. Boo boo. All of them. Boo boo. Just boo boo. All, all, the, all the streets out there. Boo boo. All them F boys. Boo boo. Boo-boo. Girl, you were long, tall, sharp, and wide. Boo-boo. I'm telling you right now, everything on the street, boo-boo. Because when it's ordained by God, we just with that one. Boy, I, words. I, that's why you don't find too much detail about sex in the Bible, because words can't even explain this thing. Huh? Words can't even explain this thing. But it took me a long time to get to this one virtuous woman. Man, I spent my whole 20s and 30s. You ask anybody I've been with, and you tell them, did I tell them I came now looking for her? And when I left, I was still looking for her. I was going to find her. I knew she was out there. I knew from day one. I'm telling some of y'all, y'all need to know your partner's out there. Stop selling in these streets. The Bible just told you it's a numbers game. You're talking one out of a thousand, zero out of a thousand. People, I need you to have a little more faith in love, God, yourself, your partner. See, your partner out there going through the same things you're going through right now. The exact same things. I had no clue. See, what you got to realize is y'all are one of the same spirit. And this world does not deal with spirits in a different way. If you are this spirit, this is how they will deal with you. So when you get into Christ, guess what? God knows your life's going to be right because the world only dealt with Christ one way. So when you get into Christ, Lord Jesus, he know you're going to be prosperous. He know you're going to have things. He know you're going to be filled with the spirit because that's the only way that spirit rose on this earth. But it's the same goes for you. Your spirit. This world only deals with your spirit one way. And see, you are changing you to deal with this world. And what you got to know is the Holy Spirit has the map for your spirit. And once you get into the Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus, I'm telling you, it is different. And your person is going through the same thing. I hear just going through the same stuff you're going through because y'all are one of the same person. And when you finally get together, you realize, man, it sounds like we were different. It sounds, but we're going through the same thing. Your ex is just like my ex. Huh? I don't know how a little short black old man act just like a little old mixed girl from Twitter. Like, oh, that ain't the exact same spirit. How in the world? How is that the same? How does that even happen? Because you are the same spirit. It took the same spirit that it took you to belittle you and make you feel small. It took that same spirit to belittle her and make her feel small. See, your person is going through the same thing. What you got to realize is you got to have the faith of Peter to say, hey, I'm coming for you. Just, just, hey, come to me. You got to get out there, fellas. The words say a man who finds a wife finds a good thing. She not finna find you, my boy. You got to get up off your butt, boy. You got to be out here in motion. God is a quarterback. He don't hit nobody standing still. You got to move. Huh? Come on. You got to find her. And when you find her, know that she was going through what you was going through. Have the grace. Understand that God made y'all for each other. And that is a beautiful thing. And it can't be found out in these streets. It just can't, y'all. Men, I need y'all to understand. Sleeping with married women, you are just... Most men respect marriage. When they in it. <laughs> when they in it. Oh, man, I'm not messing my wife. I'm my wife, my wife. But you remember when you was out in the streets, right? Mm -hmm. Remember, you were 20, you didn't care, right? Mm -hmm. I myself, I, I've been lied to many a times because I, 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 I was a rude guy. Ask anybody who mess with me. You got a man? Nah, I'm good. I don't mess with other people's stuff. No, I've been lied to many nights. I've been lied to by a woman while she was pregnant. Didn't even tell me. 
till after we were done with girl, you can kind of to think she oh I'm, I'm pregnant but I didn't want to tell you because I knew you wouldn't do it see see when you get a reputation out in these streets people trick you to use you up for, for your body and you don't even know it because they didn't learn your spirit see had I known my spirit the right way I wouldn't have been out in these streets like that they couldn't use me like that couldn't use me like that oh yeah they would use me but I, I'm not going to say I wasn't there enjoying it it was one twenties it's third just this is what you do, teenager even. <laughs> that's that's what you do. But man, we're supposed to be older. We're supposed to be wiser. We're supposed to be better, y'all. Man. Bro, you got you not gonna find the one while you out here hitting everything in these streets. And oh, you not married, but I guarantee you, you're messing with some married women. Oh, they ain't together no more. They just married on paper. That count too. That count too. As we said this morning, we all commit adultery. We all commit adultery. And we all need grace, y'all. We all need grace. So give each other grace and keep the faith that your partner out there. Man, when you keep the faith your partner out there, you won't just be selling for anything and, and hitting any old thing like that. You got to know they out there, bro. You got to keep the faith. And you got to save something for them. Please, stop putting it all online. Save something for the marriage. Save something for your partner. So let your partner see some stuff that ain't nobody else seeing. That's part of marriage. Ooh, ain't nobody else seeing this. That's what makes it good. When everybody else can see it, don't nobody want it no more. Don't nobody want that superfluous booty you've been throwing around town everywhere. That's superfluous meat you just slanging out here everywhere, giving everybody just, you know, just tangling, tangling everywhere. Just, don't nobody want it. Let's keep it good, y'all. Let's keep it faith. Let's keep it pure. Let's keep it love. Come on, y'all. Let's pray. Lord, thank you. Thank you for the word today. May you bless everybody out there dealing with adultery. Forgive us. May we have forgiveness for ourselves. May we forgive ourselves for our past sins and the things we've done or may even be currently doing. Bless us, Lord. Give us a way out. Show us we can get out of adultery. We can get out of that sin. We ain't got to sleep with him no more. We ain't got to sleep with her no more. We have a partner you have made for us, and it's out there. It's out there for them, Lord. I thank you for mine, and I hope that they get theirs. Thank you for your word today. Bless everybody going this week, and keep us all set free, Lord. Keep us, keep us as far away from sin as we can be. And if we do sin, Lord, forgive us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, y'all. Hey, y'all. Man, it's six days of adultery. In adultery, it's going to be a lot of little... Rabbit holes in there. Believe that. Uh, but we're going to talk about it, man. We talked about men today and women. I know it always seems like it's on y'all. But baby, y'all birthed this thing. Huh? It's, it, it, it ain't the word picking on y'all. It's all about y'all. I'm sorry. It's just all about y'all. But we're going to get it tomorrow on hump day. Hump day. Mm -hmm. Hey. Hey, y'all. Y'all be blessed. Uh, Till then, good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good night. Hey y'all, we got to do it.